<laughs> What's up, fellow gamers? Kevin J2010 here. I'm still standing on top of a tower because I'm on top of the world! Sort of, I guess. Anyway, so in this episode, well, in the last episode of Skyward Sword, because that's what I'm welcoming you back to, in the last episode of Skyward Sword, um, we got the propeller thing, we fixed the sh scrapper, and we came back, and we set up the light, and it's now we can enter that thing over there, which I believe Fi called it Thunderhead. I'm not sure if she actually told, told us that. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna head flying out there, but before we go there, we're actually gonna head, um, somewhere a little bit different first. We're actually gonna head to the Lumpy Pumpkin first, just because, you know, I have to do this eventually, and it's always off the beaten path. So we're gonna do it now, just so I can get it done. Okay, so we're back here at the Lumpy Pumpkin, we go into here. I'm not sure if there was a new quest or not, I just, I wrote down in my notes that just to come here, so we're gonna talk to him. And he goes, Oh, it's you, what should I have you work on next? Oh yeah, you've got that interesting little instrument, looking instrument. I got it, I got the perfect job for you. But that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back and see me, all right? Well, since we actually can't fly at night, we're gonna need to find a bed here. And hey, look, there's a bed over here. I wonder what's in here. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Oh, jeez, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna go to bed. It just mirrored the beds look really hard in this game. Like, you jump on them, and Link bounces, but, like, you don't see the bed move. So it makes them look, like, rock solid. Anyway, so we're gonna talk to... Whatever. Ah, oh, you came. Let me see. What was it I wanted you to do next? Hey, what's that? That's a strange-looking instrument you have there. You mentioned that this morning. Whatever. Oh, yeah, so you might just be surprised to hear that Kina is actually quite the singer. It wasn't that long ago that we would sing for our customers, but she had to stop because her partner quit. Think you'd be willing to do a quick duet with Kina? Uh, sure. <laughs> Great, that's what I want to hear. Make sure you put your heart into it. I won't stand for anything but your best. Customers will start waving their arms and Kina sings her song, so you can just follow them and need your guide rhythm and be playing. Pick a customer whose movements are easy for you to follow and strum with them to stay on the right tempo. Don't worry about the direction of your strumming. Just make sure you're not playing too fast or too slow and use nice, big, sweeping motions to strum. When the customer stops moving, it's your chance to freestyle a little bit and play however you like. It's all about playing to the rhythm. You got it? Okay. All right then, hey, Kina. <laughs> yes, Father, what is it? This kid's gonna accompany you while you sing. Now how about letting your pops hear that beautiful voice of yours, eh? Of course, let's do it, kid. I don't know why. I feel like she'd have like a really stupid voice. Oddly hard. Oh, oh. Dang it! Let's do that again. And this, I say we're even. You don't have to work for me anymore. Okay, good. I did pretty bad, but you know what? Considering all the hard work you put in around here, I feel like I should give you a little something. Take this! Hey, yeah, a piece of heart. That's nice. So we just got our first one. That's our ninth one. Maybe you can swing by later. Yep, I have a customer next time. Okay, okay, don't, don't. Did you put in the new one yet? 
He doesn't, yeah, if you come back later, he'll have a new one. Um, no, there is no hard piece on that one, but... <laughs> the whole Lumpy Pumpkin thing is done. That gets you two hard pieces total. Well, one of them caused the problem in the first place, and then another one you just get. I forgot that I need to set it to daytime, and now it's daytime. Okay, so... We're gonna head off to that new area, which is called Thunderhead. All the way over on the other side of the sky from here. Ah, uh, let's go. Finally here, it took me a while. You just gotta fly all the way over to here, head towards the hole, and you glide into it. And... Welcome to being inside the Thunderhead. This place is the first place in the game that has, like, real flying around enemies. But we're not gonna have to deal with it too much yet. We're just gonna keep continuing to follow the laser beam. It's so dark and scary in here, but it's not all that scary, really. Bam bam. Okay, come on. Okay, so here's where it leads. And you want to actually land over here, because there's nowhere else for you to really land. Um, you can see there's the tower, and there's... The way in's over there, I guess. It's not here, though. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Science indicate that it was left here for you by the goddess. However, I'm unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I would suggest you investigate the area. So what you're going to want to do here is you actually want to set... Um, we actually have to make a bridge over to that little hole that you just saw over there. It's a hole right over there. You got to get into that hole. Um, but how you get in there, you ask? Well, we're gonna need to move these platforms. As you can see, there's one all the way over there. There's one... Where is the other one? There's one right here, and there's one right there. We need to get all those platforms in order to line up with that hole. Now, one thing that a lot of people forget about this is how to do this, because I forget how to do this all the time. When you move this, you notice that um, you move these little things on the ground. And what you gotta do is you gotta get all these to be lined up. Because these are actually moving the platforms. So, you can use this to change where the walls are. I think I've already screwed it up slightly. Wait, 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 can I... Almost had it. Okay, set it to straight then. I've screwed it up. I know I have. Let's see, we got one in place, but it'll move out of place as, as we move it again. But yeah, so... I find the easiest way to do it is to line all three of them up in a row. And then you just start moving the things out of their way as you need them. I always have a hard time with this, but then I figure it out. As you can see, we're moving all three platforms in a row. Get that one to get those out of our way, and we need to turn it one more time. Jeez, it's so... I hate doing this puzzle. And there we go, we've lined all three puzzles up. All three puzzles, all three platforms in a row. So now we can get down this hallway pathway, platform, line of platforms. It's kind of what it is. Welcome to being inside the Isle of Songs. And oh, we get to keep doing this. Yeah, Steven. Don't 
songs in the other games and like Ocarina of Time stuff. It wasn't that big of a deal but you learn a song in this game and it's just like wow you learned a song great so the new song we've learned is called Ferrora's Courage um, we're gonna want this I'm asking you to overcome the trial set before you and obtain three gifts to reach the sacred flames I've committed Ferrora's Courage to memory now you can use your dousing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you go to the Farron province because it's for Rory's Courage. So yeah, we're going to do that, but in the next episode, I apologize for the last two episodes being pretty cutscene and story-driven, I guess. Partially story-driven, but not too much fun, really. Um, in the next episode, we are actually going to head out from the Isle of Songs, and we got to do one more little thing. But it's actually not, it is side quest based, but it'll be pretty quick and it's going to be funny. And then we're going to head to the Farron province, the Farron woods, whatever. So I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching, by the way. I didn't really bring that up. Bye.